Bonjour from Toulouse, France, uh, which is in the south of France, for those of you who don't know. I got here yesterday. Uh, my brother and his girlfriend picked me up in Barcelona. If you didn't see my story, you should go back and check out my story both on Instagram and Facebook. They kind of copy over. I had a couple days on the beach in the coast of Brava, which is the northern coast of Spain. And actually, I had been there, I remembered about 20 whatever years ago, no, maybe 19, something like that. So that was awesome. And like I declared in one of my posts that starting any trip with a day on the beach to where you don't have to do anything is really the way to go. <clears throat> because especially if you're going to be jet lagged and having flown 10 hours or whatever it was. So I am now in France visiting my brother. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Teresa. And his kids, I'm actually going to see his kids tomorrow. I'm in uh, Selma's room, which is why there's butterflies and stickers all over the wall. <laughs> and so that's going to be awesome. And I really am grateful to be able to, of course, see them. But for the purpose of my trip, it's so nice to be able to land, have my brother waiting at the gate. Luckily, he made it. He was only minutes before I arrived. <laughs> Uh, and <clears throat> there was also a funny picture um, when he opened up the trunk of their car. There was a wheel of brie and a baguette in the, in the back of the car, which, of course, any French person knows that that's a normal greeting. So, <laughs> um, so it's so nice to not have to worry about the language. Uh, his girlfriend spoke Spanish, and, of course, they speak French, and so I'm kind of able to just be lazy with everything <laughs> and kind of warm up to the idea of uh, speaking a different language. And besides, when I get to Croatia, French won't make any difference. So um, I think, I don't know, it'll be interesting with the language in Croatia. So I am here for a week, and now uh, my brother's you know, going to work during the day. It's midnight right now, and I'm trying to adjust myself to the time zone. Hey, David. Uh, last night I was awake from 4 a.m. until 7 a.m. and then I went back to sleep until 10 a.m. It could have been the wine that I drank too because normally that keeps me awake, but who knows. So I didn't have, I had one glass of wine tonight, but um, that shouldn't cause any problems. And it's also interesting with the time zone, and I know Tracy, we uh, commented about that, that now it's great to have time where the people in the US aren't awake because I can watch my training videos that I need to watch. I can, you know, research things, products, um, that, you know, whatever it is I'm working on that doesn't entail communication, but the best time to communicate is really right now, um, or, you know, earlier, but, uh, so anyway, so I'm, I'm figuring that out, figuring out, um, what my threshold is for you know how much I'm going to work and being here in Toulouse I've been here before it's great I'm still gonna have some fun and see some things but I don't feel this urge that I have to go run around and explore so that will be interesting uh, a couple things you know like my curling iron I can't get it to heat up it plugs in and I have a converter and all that and I don't have a data plan here in France because I'm just gonna wait till I get to Croatia so, uh, but again, you know, my brother set me up with a bus pass and I'll be hopping on the Metro and hanging out. And they also found me a free class tomorrow. There's some Pilates and yoga demos at the local, um, community gym. So I'm going to go check that out by myself. So, uh, I'm going to brush up on a little French and make sure I can introduce myself properly <laughs> and then just follow along. So, um, and I, I titled this that no matter where you go, there you are, which I looked it up and it's Confucius, although there's some debate on whether that's a Confucius quote, but hey, Anna. Um, but anyway, whoever said it, that's always been one of my favorite quotes because, you know, really it's, I've, I've heard of people moving because they're trying to get away from addictions or they're trying to, you know, get over their lost relationship or change their habits and I know full well that me coming to do this type of lifestyle the remote working lifestyle <clears throat> wouldn't solve the professional um, issues that I have and that I'm continuing to work on for a long time now <laughs> maybe forever hopefully not forever um, but I'd rather do it 
doing what I want to do, be traveling and exploring. I could be doing the same thing in San Francisco, watching the same training videos, doing the same emails, the same reach outs. But if I wanted to be traveling, then this is what I'm going to do. And I'll be working on that now. So it definitely does light a fire because I want to continue this lifestyle. You know, there's always that creep in of fear periodically. I've, I've subscribed, excuse me, subscribed to a couple remote working job sites. So when I probably should delete those because when I look at them, I start to think, okay, should I apply for that? Should I apply for that? And then I have to get, have that same conversation of no, just focus on what you're doing and you know, use this time to work on the skills that you've been trying to work on and filling in the gaps and boosting the income and all that stuff that I need to do. And don't waste time sending out applications and things and, you know, spending just even mental energy on that. So, uh, yeah, that's a good idea I just came up with. I should unsubscribe to those. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to just say hello from Europe, and I'm glad you guys are hopefully watching my stories. And I will be getting into some fitness classes and dance classes. I'm excited. I'm kind of plotting those out as I go. And I also... Uh, looked for, I showed my um, brother Jason, my music video from Cabo, and I want to make another music video while I'm in Croatia. So I've been choosing a song, and I've got to get some choreography ready to go, because that I'll be in Croatia on Sunday. So um, it's fun. Lots, lots of good stuff going on. And hey, Jennifer, good to see you all here on social media. I need to go to bed so that I can get on a regular schedule. So have a awesome the rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you soon.